Mastering the causative passive voice. Avoiding common mistakes. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a fascinating part of English grammar. The causative passive voice. This structure can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, we're here to navigate it together. In this video, we will focus on avoiding common mistakes when forming causative passive voice sentences. Before we tackle the common mistakes, let's quickly refresh our understanding of the causative passive voice. The causative passive voice is a form that shows something is done to someone by someone else. It often includes the structure subject plus have, has, had plus object plus past participle. For example, she had her car repaired. Now, Let's look at the common mistakes made when using this structure. 1. Confusing the order of words. Remember, the basic structure should always follow the pattern. Subject plus have, has, had plus object plus past participle. A common mistake is to reverse the order, for example, she repaired her car had. Instead, remember the correct order, she had her car repaired. 2. Forgetting the past participle. The past participle is a key component of the causative passive voice. A common mistake is to use the base form or past simple form of the verb, such as, she had her car repair, or, she had her car repaired. Instead, always use the past participle, she had her car repaired. 3. Misuse of, have. In the causative passive voice, have doesn't show possession it's a common mistake to interpret have as possession such as in she had a repair on her car in the causative passive have means to arrange or cause something to happen here are some handy tips to help you master the causative passive voice one practice the best way to master the causative passive voice is to use it. Write sentences, speak sentences, and read sentences that use this structure. 2. Remember the structure. The structure is key. Keep the pattern. Subject plus have, has, had plus object plus past participle at the forefront of your mind. 3. Use it in context. Try to use the causative passive voice in situations where it makes sense. For example, when you're talking about a situation where you arranged for something to be done. And there we have it. I hope this video has clarified the common mistakes and given you some valuable tips on using the causative passive voice correctly. Keep practicing and before you know it, you'll be using the causative passive voice like a pro. Remember, the road to mastering a language is full of challenges, but with dedication and practice, you can overcome them all. Thanks for watching.